Gia, can you travel to Thailand? Yes, yes, you can. But it's just a lot of paperwork, timing, and waiting. In this video, we're going to give you step by step tips on how to get your certificate of entry, also known as the COE. We will starting with the flight, hotel, insurance, the COVID test, and the other documents that will be required. This video will be especially helpful for non Thai nationals who want to go back to Thailand. I know that uh, travel to Thailand during the pandemic is not a good idea. But if you have a family emergency, you have business and the other reason to go, this video should be helpful. First thing first, you have to book your flight to Thailand. You will need to book a semi commercial flight from uh, Etihad, Qatar Airlines, Emirates. Korean Air and the other airline from the USA. If you're flying from a different destination, check the Thai consulate website in your area. We chose Qatar because the price was reasonable, a short layover in Doha, and customer service got back to us pretty fast by email and even when I called them in Qatar. You need to book the flight first because it's needed in the next step. Second step is booking your ASQ hotel. ASQ stands for Alternative State Quarantine. There's dozens of hotels registered with the Thai government offering these packages for your 14 day quarantine. Mm -hmm. Each hotel will offer a similar package, including transportation from the airport, meals, and also the two COVID tests during your stay. You have to give the hotel your flight confirmation. They're going to use this to know when to pick you up from the airport. You're not allowed to leave the airport on your own and you can't take any other transport back to the hotel. It's provided to you with your ASQ package. Mm -hmm. For a couple, if you would like to stay in the same room, you have to provide your marriage license. Step three, buying the required medical insurance. Mm -hmm. You need a minimum of $100,000 in coverage and the coverage document has to state that COVID-19 expenses are covered. The insurance must cover the whole duration of your stay in Thailand we paid $70 for a 60-day coverage yep. for Peter. We got from the insubai.com. We'll put the link below. Step four, the visa and COE application. And you have to apply for both at the same time on the consulate or the embassy website. You'll need to upload a lot of documents. Your hotel confirmation, mm -hmm. your flight details, your spouse's Thai ID or passport, some bank statements. The documents are gonna vary depending on the type of visa you're applying for. We submit um, Peter visa and the COE application on November 12th, yeah. A few days later, we called to follow up and they basically emailed us the next step which said to mail our documents to them. So we mailed the passport, passport photos, uh, visa declaration form yes. and the uh, money order for the visa and included a self-addressed express envelope back so we would get the visa as soon as it was stamped. Yeah, that's right. And uh, after you apply the visa and COE online, you can send all the documents that they require immediately. You don't need to wait anything. Yeah. Just you will get it back um, like a few days later. Yeah, just send it right off right away. We got the visa back a few days later. Uh, again, we used an express envelope. So the day they received it, they stamped it. Next day, it was in the mail and we had it back. Yes. Okay, December 15th, we called them again. Gid kindly spoke to them in Thai and was asking about our COE follow-up. And they said, oh, let's send you the email. In the email they sent us was a link back to the visa and COE form. The form was pre-populated with all the information I had already filled out. Only this time when it asked, do we have a Thai visa, we click yes. And then from the drop-down, we choose the type of visa we have and upload a photo of it from my passport. While we were on the phone with them, they confirmed they got the visa and COE updated application and they emailed us the COE. Thank you so much for that. For the COE, the Thai consulate or Thai embassy will email you mm -hmm. um, like three days, five days before your departure. So in our case, we got confused when we apply um, Peter application. And yeah, so we give, um, give them a call and see uh, where we are on. So we fix it. The step for applying visa and COE, they will change it in January 2021. So to make sure you have to check with uh, the Thai consulate or Thai embassy website, you can give them a call. They will uh, tell you like what exactly link that you have to use and document what you need to prepare. Step five is taking your COVID test and getting results back within 72 hours of your departure time. We took two tests. We're at JFK Airport in Terminal 1 at Adams Health Services. We're getting our last COVID test. At Adams Health Services, offer a 55 document, which is the Thai government required. 
this is our last chance to get a COVID test because um, the first the first COVID test we cannot use that document. It came out too early that we cannot use. We have to wait until nine o'clock to get um, the COVID test, which will come out um, in the right window time that we need before our departure flight. And we spoke to Adam Cell Services. They said yes, come in. You'll get your RT PCR test with the fly, and we'll be good to go. So we're gonna wait till nine, and we'll get back to you and let you know how it goes. News. We got our results back, both of us negative. Yes. But but the free to fly documents that I telling like they have the free to fly with the, the COVID test, but that one we cannot use because because on the Thai government website it says if your negative COVID results say fit the fly, it's not accepted. You mm -hmm. have to have a doctor assign yes. another okay. document yeah. that says fit the fly and has your info on it. Yeah, and also a doctor um, license number as well. Yep. That was important part. So we have to do. Uh, we have to contact to the doctor, a few doctors maybe, to get a free fly document and we have that for you soon. So 48 hours get fit to fly. Tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Monday we fly, uh -huh. we can do it. We can okay. do it. All right, last step, we're gonna find you when we get fit to fly, let's go. For fit to fly document, we use Dr. Donner and we pay 15 uh, USD per person. Yep. And or 40, no, 40? 400, 400 baht. Yeah, and we got it back right away. So that worked out, perfect. Last thing to save time at Bangkok airport is to have your T8 document already filled out. Mm -hmm. They'll either give it to you if you don't have it, but it's time saver to bring it pre-filled in. It's a basic questionnaire medical yeah. document. We hope this helped you with your visa and COE application. All the links that we use are below. Please share this video to help others with their application. Don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot more videos coming out in Thailand soon.